think as every founder story is so like at least many companies you're going through a couple of rough times as a company and what happened was that we ran out of funds uh, we were like on the verge to have to close down the company um, unfortunately we lost a co-founder who couldn't carry on with us uh, the economical pressure was just too big so we we had to kind of uh, let him go, which was very sad for us. Uh, but at the same time, you know, like no harm or no harm, no no bad feelings in that sense. Everything is is good. We're still friends, uh, and uh, we move on. That's how it works. I, th I think you know we were very naive in the beginning. You know, uh, I think you know. <laughs> I don't I don't know what to say. Right? You know, we, when we went out, launched uh, Vamos and everything, I was remembering, we actually have in uh, some interview somewhere, I was saying that, yeah, getting one million users, no problem. We will have that next year. We thought that things would be easier than they actually are. Um, obviously, gaining more traction, getting more virality and engagement and all these kind of things that are so crucial when it comes to building, especially mobile products. And then um, obviously, if we would have been a little bit more humble, if we would have potentially listened more to people who have done it in the past, we would have been able to do things slightly better or much better. And obviously, that's hard to say uh, in, at this point, uh, but uh, I, I think, you know, that's one of the mistakes. But, you know, as, as every journey, you have to fail in order to move forward.